Hey everyone, so I'm here today with a Bissell Power Force Compact Vacuum. It is the smallest and cheapest vacuum I could possibly find. I wanted to see, I've heard multiple reviews to see how good this is. I wanted to see if it actually does anything. What could you get for $35 out of a vacuum? Well, let's find out. So I'm just gonna pop open the box. It says it has power for cleaning with a rotating brush, light maneuverable, and multi-layer filtration uh, wand, and a stretch hose, and all that stuff. It's basic, of course. It's kind of what I would expect for this price. Put it right here. That's where it just comes. off and then... oh, all right so that's what was shaking around in the box the instruction manual instruction manual a piece I also got some belts for it because they usually have been sitting in the store for a while and are stretched out. I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me here. Close the scissors to so I don't like sit on them and slice myself. The handle is decently comfortable. It's not great. It's not bad. Actually, it's actually not that bad. So now, here's yet another thing. I have a brush here. Basic dusting brush. Of cardboard, and then we have a crevice tool, and here is the rest of the vacuum. It is very small, if you can tell. One second. There. There we go. Now I got it off. It's right here. I found the purple. I liked it better than the blue. I'm guessing that goes right there, like so. And then this probably goes right here, exactly where that goes. And the cord, and that will just go on the cord hook on the back. I'm going to do a test on this to see how well it cleans. So the cord wrap is right here. I'm going to check out like the design and check the... Ooh, watch out. I'm going to compare it. I'm going to do the red sand test, the sand test with this, comparing it to another lightweight vacuum. This thing is so light. This is just, a, this is almost cute. It's so small. You can all, I would almost call this a toy. If I saw this and I didn't, just this sitting in someone's house, I would think it was a toy at first because it's just so small. Here's brush roll. It's got like this U design. Like the brushes are set up in like a U right there. The air is right here. It does not have a, actually, no, it does not have a height adjustment, I know. It does not. Let's see how you, if there's a way to change the height of the machine. Oh, probably when you recline it, it will change. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, that sitting out there so far is just gonna prevent it from cleaning, but never mind. that's how it sits right there. So as I said, I did get belts for it, so I need to recline it again. I'm going to see how, what the belt looks like compared to the new one. I have to find where I placed those belts. I do not know where I actually put them. They are around here somewhere. Put them on the ground. Let me pick the machine up. Ah, here we go. I'm sitting on top. So here's a screwdriver and I'm just going to do these screws. This is 
is really difficult to do with one hand. I wish I brought my... I'm just going to put the, the camera right here while I do this. I'm sorry, I don't have my stand with me right now. Bear with me, viewers. Bear with me. This, head, this screwdriver head is a little bit on the small side. The screws on this thing are larger than I thought it would be. But I think I'll make it. Yeah, this is too much of a pain. I'm gonna go find a bigger screwdriver head. Bear with me here again. Sorry that I didn't bring my just screwdriver head with me. I have this screwdriver which has all these heads in the back. I need to figure out how to open it. There we go. And then the larger head is back here. Excuse me while I get it off. Clean that up later so I don't make you the viewers wait. This head is larger. This will take less time because it was. Yeah, there we go. It was skipping. Like it wouldn't. The screwdriver head wouldn't lock on. Looks like these wheels might actually be replaceable easily unsnap that wheel and put a new one on if you wanted to. Alright, that's it. I am guessing. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so again, one second. A uh, container of soap. That we also bought at the store. This is from Walmart. Uh, spilled out. And those are the same belts. I can't believe I actually, it was a guess. It wasn't 100% confirmed. I looked at the belts and guessed. <laughs> Here's the brush roll. It's actually not that bad. The brushes are not extremely stiff. Again, you don't want that because you don't want your carpet to be destroyed by the vacuum. Okay, let's test the length. The new one is stretched, I can tell you. I'm gonna put it right here. Let me. It's actually not it's stretched by about half an inch, as I can tell you. But I'll uh, I'll keep it in case because it's not very much. And I chose the right belt, so let's put the belt on. There's the motor shaft right there. So you can take this, this is the new one. I'm just gonna quickly plug it in and turn it on to see how loud it is. So grab here, and then again, one-handed. This I'm gonna have to put this down again. I'm sorry, I don't have my camera stand with me. Sorry if this video is not as good as my other ones. And it's really difficult now because I cannot see with the light. There's only one way these brush roll can go in, but I put it in the wrong one second. Still might not be correctly. Mm, yeah, that's not correctly in there. It's there's too much friction. It's not in there, right? One second. Shall place my phone right here. This is such a pest. Oh, 
I see how it goes in. Alright, I get it, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. One side is round, but the other side goes in straight. There we go. That's it, right there. There we go, that's it, I got it. You just have to see and you have to use both hands because trying to do something like this with one hand is not an easy feat. And then you just take this little base plate right here, collect all the screws, I think there was five or something, and then put them back in. And make sure this is like in how it's supposed to be. Alright, that's one screw. This corner one over here. Oh, my hand's in the way. Just hold it like this. I'm not even sure where my camera stand is it right now. It should be downstairs, but I'm not guaranteeing that it is. Someone looks like someone drew on it right there, but it's not because I can tell it's printed. The circle is too perfect for it's probably letting someone know what letting someone at the factory who's assembling these know what belt to put on. The one dash three. Let's see what it says right here. It says reduce the risk of injury for moving parts unplugged before serving sing. Well, I would hope so. 6.2 amp motor. That's what I expected. Something under 7 amps for such a small machine. Now let's check out the rest of the machine. Let's pop the dirt bin off. There's a filter. It's foam and felt. An interesting design of foam and felt. Has like all this, almost looks like glue on here. But. put it in place. And then you have this cyclonic thing right here, which I don't know if this is removable or not. Maybe you can twist it. This purple cyclonic thing right here, I don't know if you can act, no, nope, you can. It's just new, so. And then you have this little guy right here, which attaches to here. The seal is really strong on this. All right, and then the bin you just hit right here. And again, it's new. The rubber seal on this bin is actually not really that bad. And the bin isn't that bad either. have this right here. I think there's a filter under here. Let's see. Looks like you undo this screw. It appears that there's a filter under this. Nope, there's no filter under it. Oh, there's the motor. It looks like a motor that would go to a fan. It really does. The motor it actually doesn't look cheap at all. It just looks like, well, um, an electric motor. So the filtration is what's in the bin. It's really not that bad, actually. I'm gonna recline it and use my head to stop it. Falling. Let's see, it's, it's really, it's really not that bad. I mean, oh yes, and this my cat loves these. There's nothing 
wrong with this vacuum, really. There's nothing I can see that's a deal breaker or anything. I'm gonna pull the hose off. And it's, you know, maybe five, four feet. And it's so small, you could just basically pick this thing up. You wouldn't even have to, you wouldn't leave the vacuum in one spot, you would just pick it up. Like, you would just carry it. Like, I could pick this thing up easily with my pinky. It's eight, like seven pounds of vacuum. It's so easy. So I'm gonna clean up all this mess, and I'm just gonna, well, first I'm just gonna turn it on to see how loud it is. There's an outlet right here. Let's see what it sounds like. Unplug this. Under the cord. Baby-sized brush roll. It's it's really not that bad. So I am going to stop this, and I'm going to go prepare a rug for uh, a sand test. Stay tuned.